What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Uber Cold Garage. Uh, sorry about the garage. It's a little bit of a mess today. Uh, a lot of stuff has been going on. Some big changes to the bug. We're starting to come along, and it's starting to finally come together. So stay tuned and enjoy. Got some of my packages. The other one should be here in the next couple days. So let's see what we got. Got my front disc brakes. Two and a half inch drop spindles, and if you notice, that's not your standard Volkswagen lug pattern. It might give you a hint on what kind of rims I'm going to run. So we'll get this stuff cleaned up and wait for the rest of the stuff to get here. And then we'll get it all installed. And another box of parts. It's got the brakes. Front suspension. Fully adjustable arms, uppers and lowers. I have the ball joint taper and the ball joint tool. So then I can taper the drop spindles to match up with these ball joints. And my other ball joints were on back order, so they'll be here in another couple days. And then I'll start putting all this stuff together and getting it installed on to those bars right there. So I got the driver's side gussets cut out, cleaned that one back up, rounded off a few tabs, stuff like that. So now I can remake the cage gussets and weld tabs onto the actual cage to bolt onto the body. The body will have gussets as well or brackets to bolt onto the gussets and I am still waiting on my lower ball joints those won't be in and until Thursday or Friday and then we'll uh, hop on get in the front suspension set up and start figuring out all of that
this is what Volkswagen drop spindles look like with Chevy ball joints, Chevy control arms, upper and lowers. Everything on these is fully adjustable. Camber, toe, caster, so front suspension will be uh, awfully easy to dial in and adjust and these are left and right threads so all I have to do is turn that bar for adjustment or turn that bar for adjustment lowers you gotta unbolt and adjust but once I set camber camber shouldn't change very much So now we'll start trying to figure out how to get these installed. So I got my lower arms tacked in. The brackets you saw me make were the lower control arm mounts. So both of the lowers are in. I still need roll cage piping to go across where the upper bars go. And those will be adjustable height wise so then I can adjust suspension that way as well so I'm gonna keep chugging along on this and see how everything goes alright guys so that's it for this episode I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable not so awkward sorry about the first couple videos uh, it's a little weird standing in the garage talking to a phone or, you know, a camera. So, starting to feel a little bit more comfortable and we'll uh, get some better content out and we'll see you guys on the next one.